Okay. Substantial deficiencies still remain in citizen towns even after decades of development process. These deficiencies mostly relate to poor urban infrastructure processes. As economic development proceeds with population growth, well-planned urban systems assume greater importance for city's economy. I have defined my presentation into six headings. First, I will be defining the context of my paper, then study objectives. I will also give you a brief overview of the study area followed by methodology and finally I will be highlighting key findings and policy implications of my study. At the start of the century, around 5% of the world's population were within the city and towns, but for the first time in human history, 50% of the world population they are focused in urban areas, so we are largely urban. And there has been a rapid increase in urban population in India in the last few decades. In the last decade only grew by 3% from 28 to 31% we are urban. And there is also <coughs> a surge of million plus cities. We have gone from uh, 35 to 53 and as per estimates the number could go to 70 million plus cities by 2031. And this will create a large urban pressure and also a market opportunity for the urban economy. There are several serious dysfunctions in the planning system that threaten the actual growth and vibrancy of city's economy. Master plans and projections, they define the blueprint of the city's growth, but they deviate profoundly. The land use planning is in isolation with critical infrastructure and resource constraints. The importance of urban transition is recognized, but their spatial and temporal dynamics are not explored in the literature. So this study fills this critical gap and you would also see that poorly regulated land governance that does not respect land suitability and the carrying capacity of the city is very critical for city's future. A lot of industrial areas are built upon environmentally sensitive areas. The residential areas lack open space and green beds and infrastructure is not integrated in the design of layout. There is absence of logistic zones, parking lots, bicycle lanes transport corridors and there has been multiple jurisdictions within the urban areas because of multiple urban authorities and that results into fragmented discontinuous urban areas. So to break this vicious cycle from the burden to planning, a serious thinking is desperately needed. Decisions made now will have a critical impact on the future. In this background, my study first of all assesses the land transformation 